green click so did you copy that conf directory yes good this is the one just a moment okay just give me a moment Okay, show me. Okay, perfect. This is the yes, conflict, yes. right? Okay, so can you open yes. uh, server.xml? Okay, before that, can you open this context.xml? Context.xml. Okay. So if you see, here they have defined your database details. Can you see that resource name? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. JDBC Docware Auth Container. Okay. Type okay. Java X SQL Data Source. Okay. So which data source you are using? If you look at the class, driver SQL. class, it will say Oracle JDBC. Now see. Uh, what happens in application servers like WebSphere or WebLogic? You have you have gone through WebSphere training. You must have seen that creating a data source is very easy compared to a JBoss or a Tomcat server. Why? Because we simply have to define driver everything my WebSphere does, right? Yes, good. Over here. Yeah. Okay, just a moment. Let me record the session. I forgot. The, it is recorded. Did I start the recording or you started the recording? No, not yet. I haven't started. Okay. I started the recording. Anyways. So, here you have to define everything manually like we have done here. Oh. Okay. Yes, this is manual. That is the reason I ask you to get your real-time file. Okay, if you see, there are two data sources. One is Dockware and the other is Pool. Pool. Yes. Resource name is equal to JDBC slash Dockware, JDBC slash yes. Pool. P O L. Below one. Yes. Correct. Okay. Correct. Now auth will always oh. be container. This auth is equal to container. Okay. Will always be container. Okay. Because that auth is a database which is a container through which you will be doing the transactions or maybe you will be doing uh, what you call authentication or maybe, right? Now type will always be Java X SQL data source. Okay. Okay. That will not change. What will if change? You use some other database like Oracle then means it, may, it will change, right? It is Oracle only, right? Oracle Java is same. It is same. Yes, sir. So basically, this is what it is. This is the uh, what you can say. Do you understand what, what are classes and all? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is the class of your Tomcat okay. data source. Got it, got it. Okay, yes. so it will be always okay. Java X SQL data source only. What will change okay. is the driver class name. If you see, it is Oracle okay. JDBC driver, Oracle J driver, right? Here it will change. Okay. What it will become? It will be com dot mysql dot jdbc dot whatever it is. Okay. Okay. It will be yeah. com dot uh, dot whatever it is. Okay. It Sorry. can be com dot sql whatever it is. Okay. okay. Now yours is Oracle, so that is it is Oracle dot jdbc driver dot Oracle driver. Now this. Okay. You need to understand it very well before defining it because if you define your your defined uh, definition of driver is incorrect, then no matter what you do, you won't be able to connect to your database. 
driver plays a very 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 important role in your connectivity with database okay, okay. so in interview people ask you okay i have configured the data source still i am not able to connect to database what could be the reason so 99.99% of the people tell the same answer username is wrong password is wrong okay <laughs> people most of the people they can only think of username and password is incorrect at the max okay. some intelligent people will say the port is not open from database to application now if someone okay. says everything is correct username is correct password is correct ports are open still i am not able to connect what could be the reason so the reason is very simple very easy is the driver mismatch okay okay now if okay. you look if you look at that url below is the url right yes very important why it is important because your application to database connectivity happens using this url you are alone Sir. yes okay it will check jdbc oracle thin as i did whatever is the host name this is your host name right okay uh, sd yes, rsd dot look port number colon the database name database name yes correct. we also call it as sid in uh, database term it is called as sid that is service identifier okay okay that is service identifier okay so okay your okay. data application connects to database using this url okay okay then you have username and the password password okay max total connections is when 200 max idle is 20 20 idle. connections how many how much time should it wait for uh, before sending a request if it is idle it is uh, what is a 3 3 minutes right relax yeah 3 minutes relax yes three minutes relax. Relax. okay yes. remove abandoned yes. on borrow what does it mean i am not sure if this setting is correct you don't have to keep it as true but that's fine remove okay. abandoned on borrow it means what once okay. it 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 gets the connection from the connection pool okay mm -hmm. and once that connection is completed it says remove that connection from the connection pool which ideally is not correct okay which ideally is not correct so that's fine correct even i have this uh this exactly the same parameter in one of my setup unfortunately i cannot okay. help because it is the architecture is the boss he says it has to be this so it has to be this that's why we need to follow that <laughs> we need to follow that shit we don't have any other option <laughs> <laughs> so okay. remove abandoned on maintenance equal to true to be honest i don't know what exactly is this i have never seen this parameter remove abandoned on okay. maintenance equal to true remove abandoned timeout is 6 seconds okay. so basically we don't give all these uh, parameters generally when you define a data source mm -hmm. okay but the main okay. is the max total you will get okay okay min total you will get okay. something called as min total as well and your the okay. data, your database details okay now whatever you have given the you, you know this additional configuration these are tuning parameters it depends no no okay. these are tunings what happens okay. is sometimes there is there are other parameters as well sometimes what happens like in uh, if you are working on a application server mm -hmm. like uh, weblogic or websphere when okay. your database server goes down okay or there are some issues mm -hmm. in database server you don't have to restart okay. your managed servers or okay. your, yes, you don't yes, have to restart your servers Okay. okay in this case if your database has an issue in jboss and tomcat you have to restart your tomcat or jboss servers okay because tomcat and okay. jboss do not automatically recover after a database failure they do recover there is a parameter 
I will give that to you later. Mm -hmm. I am not remembering it right now, but there is a parameter that we have to add. So that is a tuning parameter basically. Okay. Clear? Clear. Yeah. Any questions about data source? No. Unfortunately, you have to define this manually, my dear friend. Okay. Got it. No other option. But again, having said that, you have to define it manually. Mm -hmm. This driver class name you have to ensure that you are putting it correct. Okay. Okay. Rest auth will always be container type will always be Java XD SQL data source. Okay. And we are only based on the port number and our uh, IP address. Yes, that will always be different, right? Yes, correct. Anyway, that will be dependent upon your database what it is. Okay. Now, in your case, they are using two data source. One is Dockware, other is Pole. Yes. Okay. And those two data sources are connecting to the same DB, I guess. Same only. Yeah, same DB. Yeah. But two different data sources. Clear? Okay. Clear. Any questions? You, do you want to discuss any issue that you face in your...